Dr. G here. Have you ever been in Home Depot and near the exit, they have this gigantic stack of weed killers. These are positioned for the impulse buy. It's kind of like in, in Walmart where they have the ice cream bars right next to the checkout. Now subliminally, you may picture that fat guy in the commercials in his driveway. He's wielding a nozzle of a sprayer as if it were a gun. Now, is there a connection from here to our food? Is there possibly another reason to avoid genetically modified foods? You see, genetic modification of our crops is many times to tolerate herbicides like Roundup. And this has led to higher and higher doses of the herbicides on our food. Now, we've mentioned on other videos about the increasing evidence of health risks from the GMOs themselves. The chemical glyphosate is the active ingredient in the Monsanto weed killer Roundup. GMO plants also happen to be created by Monsanto have been genetically modified to survive glyphosate. Now that weeds are becoming resistant to it, and farmers are using higher and higher amounts in the attempt to control the weeds. In America, we use over 185 million pounds a year of Roundup. Now this is good for Monsanto, but probably not good for us or our planet. Now what is the EPA doing to protect us from this threat? Well, earlier this year, they upped the allowable limits for the amount of glyphosate to remain in our food. And this is to levels way above the dose that causes health problems in some recent studies. It appears they don't want to get in the, uh, in the way of this short-sighted way to control weeds. Now, what does Monsanto say about the toxic effects of this chemical? In the past, they've always said that it's safe because it inhibits a biochemical pathway in plants that isn't present in animals. And when they gave the chemical to rats, in the short term, it didn't seem to have any major effects. Recent research, however, has shown that glyphosate inhibits the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. This is a major system it that our body uses to detoxify chemicals in which we're exposed. When animal studies of glyphosate are done over the entire lifespan of the animal instead of the short term, the chemical causes kidney and liver problems and greatly increase cancer and a shorter lifespan. So this is a scary thought. The active ingredients of the herbicide sprayed on most of our foods that we eat and many of us actually spray these on the weeds that grow in the cracks in the driveways of our lawns, this chemical reduces our ability to get rid of all the other thousands of chemicals we're exposed to. This leads to the chronic diseases that are increasing and associated with the Western diet, and that includes gastrointestinal disorders, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, depression, autism, infertility, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. So what do I recommend doing in order to protect yourself from these chemicals that cause a disease-filled life as well as a shorter life? The first thing is you need to resist the temptation to buy a bottle of Roundup. If you buy this product, you're just encouraging this company to make more and to restock the shelves in Home Depot. Now the second thing is avoid any GMO containing foods. By switching to organic, you avoid GMO and herbicides. Genetic modification is a black hole that will eventually lead to the extinction of the human race if we don't aggressively pull it back. This is Dr. G, thanks for watching.